I'm holding my hand today a Ruger GP100. Uh, it's a stainless uh, six inch barrel and 357. It's got uh, hook grips. Uh, it's six shot. Uh, the sights, uh, front sight is uh, fixed, rear sight is adjustable. Uh, the overall length is 11.5 inches and the weight is 45 ounces. Um, I call this my grandma gun uh, because if you've ever uh, seen in the movies whenever uh, there's a threat to a little old tiny petite lady um, whenever she pulls a gun out of her handbag it's always the big honk in 357. So I call it my grandma gun. Um, now I'm going to be straight with you. Um, I, I don't know a lot about revolvers. I've never owned a lot of revolvers. Um, the ones I, I have owned, I can, I can tell you, um, most of them are old military collectibles. Um, I've had a, a Colt uh, single action clone. Um, and the only modern 357 I've had was a little uh, European jobby that I paid 250 brand new for. Uh, that one didn't work so well. So this is the first quality 357 I've ever owned. And so I can't really compare it to other revolvers, um, but I, I can compare it to other uh, firearms in general that I've shot. Uh, I can tell you this one here, um, it's very high quality um, as compared to other guns I've owned. Um, I have fired Smith & Wesson 357s. It was a, a little snub nose. Um, I can tell you the recoil on this is a lot less than that. Uh, that one uh, felt pretty, uh, the recoil felt pretty firm. This recoil here with this long barrel, uh, this, uh, heavy handgun, felt probably equivalent uh, to a 9mm, uh, for me anyway. Hardly any recoil. Uh, it's got a very nice action when you listen to it. Uh, click, sounds nice to me. Uh, I've had uh, people compare them to a Swiss uh, timepiece. Uh, with the Ruger, you got the push button. Uh, Cylinder release, single or double action. Uh, it's got a very nice uh, pull on it. Uh, when, I, when, the cam when the hammer's back and when you pull the trigger, uh, to me it, it, it's nicer than probably any of the semis I own. Uh, very nice, high quality handgun. If you're looking for a 357, I, I definitely recommend this one. I've, I've, you know, in watching some of the other blogs and some of the things I've read, I've, I've heard this one here's a workhorse compared to some of the other ones, uh, some of the other brands. Uh, this one here, you won't have issues with timing. Uh, very well constructed, uh, very solid, uh, and this uh, Ruger is a little bit uh, priced a little bit less than some of the other ones also. Uh, so I, I think, uh, especially for your money, I think with this Ruger GP100, I think you're getting a really, really good deal. Um, so we're going to take this puppy to the range, uh, put a few rounds down range, uh, let you see how it shoots. Um, as always, if you have any questions, uh, you can post them. Um, I'll get to them. Uh, I'm normally pretty quick with the response. Um, otherwise, Semper Fi. Two of the high ones were when I was shooting uh, double action, like a long trigger pull. Just still in there.
two left. 